see you come in. Yeah, you did. Dude, you literally just called us over here to do this video review. I wasn't talking to you guys. Shut up. <laughs> Anyways, I'm Mike. I'm Joseph. And I'm Jordan. And I'm Mike. And this is one of us.net's coverage of RTX 2017. What are we doing here again? <laughs> um, I don't know. I think it was something to do with talking about goddamn animation or whatever the hell we did over the weekend. Okay, so we went to RTX this weekend. We did. And by we, I mean you guys went on Friday and uh, on Saturday. Yeah, basically, like, kind of, we, you and me, kind of traded off. There like, was, was there were some Friday. days that were we weren't all together, kind of thing. But I was there all three days. So, tell me how Friday went, by the way. Uh, well, it was a lot of fun. Yeah. We just got our badges and were able to go freely about it. All we had to do was go like media, 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 yeah. media, media. So, what did you guys actually cover on <laughs> Friday? Uh, we, we just started out like going through the expo hall, met some really interesting people, like. Because we figured, like, well, there's so few, like, animation thing to cover it every day. And we were like, well, you know, technically there's gaming animation. We might as well talk about some of that. Hmm. So we just went along, found some boots. Pretty much most of Friday was me following Joe around as he plays games and, you know, kind of refraining from laughing at him on a few of them. Like, yeah. failing utterly when he got killed by a, a malicious teddy bear. You're gonna love that clip, by the way. Three times! Oh, that's yeah. Like, a what? And he actually kind of, like, malicious teddy bear, like... But it was for a game called Witch End. All you need to know is creepy-ass little toys that are there to kill you. So, it's Five Nights at Freddy's, but you're actually moving around. And the one I was playing, they had, like, three different levels. I started off in the basement with a little teddy bear with a giant like bear's trap over its neck with these squeaky little wheels going as I'm trying to rebuild, get the supplies to build a ladder so I can escape there. This was nightmare fuel the game. Yeah. But it was one of those games where it was fun to watch. It definitely had that oh fuck moment, you know, with the yeah. jump scares with, you know, when the bear or something like that would come out or, or the doll would pop out at yeah. you. But I mean, once you got past that initial kind of holy shit in this of it, it just didn't feel like it had like a lot of staying power yeah. for playability. The man who killed Dracula. So, um, what did you guys think of what you saw of Castlevania? Um, well, I mean, we uh, they showed us the first video and then a clip from the second uh, episode, uh, just kind of. Uh, as we were sitting there, and, and a pencil test, I wasn't that. They gave us a pencil test too. Yeah. I liked what I saw at the first, and I actually did go back, uh, you know, before we recorded all this, and I've seen the entire season so far. All uh, four episodes? I yeah, I know. Right? All like, day. Like, it took me yeah. all of like two hours max. So, yeah. Like, it was just, it was magical. Do you yeah. guys like the main series of Castlevania at all? Like, the actual games themselves? I honestly only remember ever playing it. I. Once. I dabbled in it, like I played the GBA ones and then the the DS ones, but then outside of that I have played maybe Symphony of the Night when it was on the PSP, and that's so about did, it. So did any of you know the actual um, original Castlevania, or, what, or which one it was based on specifically? Not off the top of my head. Okay, well, um, it's based on Castlevania 3. Specifically, uh, Warren Ellis actually wrote this one. Yeah, which um, um, super, which yeah. is very impressive. Oh yeah, um, and I actually I, I watched it while you guys were there. Uh, but Castlevania, yeah, it was probably one of my favorite ad adaptations of that I've ever seen. Sure. Like, ever. Um, but um, yeah, tell me what else uh, you guys saw. Planet of the Apes as well. Yeah, oh, how was that Planet of the Apes. How was that screening in specifically? Oh, that one was a delightful treat because I didn't even know that was gonna happen at all until we got there. So I was just like, oh shit, we get to see War for the Planet of the Apes? Hell yeah, we're gonna cover that. Does it have animation? Technically, yes. Uh, so we're gonna cover it anyways. Well, yeah, I'll, 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 I'm gonna go ahead and let you in on some joke. I was content, I was planning on going to War of the Planet of the Apes the whole time. Some might say that 
I might have just totally conned over you, Chris, and everyone here. Purely for a shot at getting to see War of Planet of the Apes, because my wife does not particularly love mm -hmm. anything involving, you know, giant monkeys or even regular sized apes or anything kind of films. So right. does she like Charlton Heston? Uh, no. Does not give a shit about Charlton Heston. That's fair. So that was just the first day itself, right? Mm -hmm. Awesome. So um, we'll be right back real quick uh, with day two. So uh, stay tuned.